Hi Aquarius, so today we are going to be doing your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So when I was tapping in, the first thing I heard, uh, well actually I was drawn to use the Star, what is this called, Star Child Tarot or Star, yeah the Star Child Tarot. Um, before I even pulled the cards that I was asking Spirit what the topic was about, and I do feel like for whoever this reading is for, this is for those of you who are a star seed. And I feel like there's a message coming up. I kept hearing the word calling, um, calling, calling. And then I also had seen someone trying to climb like a mountaintop, um, but it felt like there were some obstacles thrown your way. And so this is definitely a message that it's somebody's time to step up spiritually speaking. And so I want to go ahead and get more details now to see. Uh, I'm also, as I'm saying this here, I'm being drawn to the Black Panther and I'm being told that there are certain cycles which have maybe held back your psychic gifts, your psychic powers, your spiritual growth at some point in the past, but it feels like there's almost like a releasing or a gate opening for you on a spiritual level. And I also had heard, I think with the, you know how like on the Grammys or something and they say the Grammy goes to, I had heard that with the red dress. So this could be some kind of um, milestone that someone's achieving. Again, it could be spiritually, like just in terms of your gifts of some kind or, you know, your journey spiritually, but it also could be that you are achieving or about to achieve some kind of milestone in terms of your external environment, such as your career and things like that. So let's go ahead and see what this is about then. If you feel like this is maybe for you, if you feel drawn to this, then that's who I'm talking about here today in the message. Okay, I'm also hearing Pisces, by the way. So somebody could be a Pisces. You don't have to be to resonate with it, but there's a strong feeling of Pisces coming up here. Libra as well. So tune me in spirit then to this message and tell us a little bit more as to what it is that you are talking about today for this group of people who resonate with this reading. Um, tell us about this message then. Tell us about what you are wanting them to know. Yeah, there's something about a test here. Um, they're showing me a lot of references. We have the Queen of Cups here of like uh, testing something to see if it's warm enough, you know, is it warm? Is it cold? Is it hot yet? Uh, so with the Queen of Cups here, yeah, this is definitely very much connected once again to somebody's spiritual gifts, um, spiritual purpose. This could be a few different things, but it feels like with this Black Panther, it's about your authentic self as it relates to you. And there's a, something with the cats here too. Um, as it relates to you being connected to the stars, something that you're here to do in this lifetime, some of you are already, you know, doing something in terms of you are following your, your passion, your mission here on this planet. And I feel like there is, again, they're showing me there's been roadblocks to you kind of stepping into that red dress, meaning stepping into a place of true authentic power. Um, possibly even being someone who is noticed, someone who is successful in the material world as well, but also spiritually. It's like there's a balance here. But definitely with the Queen of Cups, there's a feeling of, um, I'm also being shown that you are somebody who is right now able to see much more deeply into certain things about yourself and also about your environment. So if this does connect with you, you may be finding that you are very much in your Queen of Cups energy in terms of being in a watery space within yourself. So either very emotional or just very tapped into your psychic gifts right now, very tapped into your emotional realm. And um, it feels like I'm hearing there's some clearing of the past here for you. Yes, Three of Swords, which actually is being done in a way to where you may not even know that you're doing it or this is something that you are aware of uh, in terms of maybe you've been having certain things come up within you which have led you to see people in a different light. Um, it's led you to really reclaim your power as this Black Panther, this Queen of Cups, 
somebody who's slipping into the red dress, you know, male or female, it doesn't matter, but it's just a feeling of this red being a, a, um, a color of, of power, a co color of authentic truth to me as well, like root chakra as well. So I definitely feel like this is for someone who needs to know that there are certain daggers, you know, kind of coming out of your heart at this time. There's certain things that are being kind of unveiled and uncloaked and also being taken out of your life even to some level. And I'm being drawn to, I think she's holding like a moon here. And I am hearing as well that this is for someone who, I think this actually came up for the last few collective readings I've done. You may be receiving a lot of attention right now or coming in very soon. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be wanting something from you, a lot of maybe work opportunities, just things to where you're on the, you're on kind of the, you're being seen or you're about to be seen, you know, with that Grammy reference I had, had seen. So maybe you are somebody who could be in the spotlight or you could be well known, or if not, it's just like on an energetic level, you are again, stepping into a phase of your life where you're about to be very seen and known. Um, Okay, we have the transformation, which is the death card, I believe, in this deck. And then we have the ten of cups here. And this is something that you actually have been destined to do for a long time. I'm hearing you've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for it. So with the ten of cups and the black panther here, there's some kind of feeling to where, you, you know, you're being led directly to your ten of cups which is somehow connected to a part of you that you have not had access to just yet, um, which is, you know, connected to something that is going to be very, um, very much in alignment with you. And I feel like you may be going through, again, this transformation within yourself right now. You may even feel a bit lost, you know, with this looks a little bit lost to me in this deck here. So maybe you feel kind of lost or you feel a little bit confused right now. But I'm hearing that there are pieces that are being put back together of your soul kind of in a way, which are leading you to wholeness with the Ten of Cups here and also leading you to things that are going to be uh, fulfilling for you on many levels. So this is definitely a message for somebody in that situation. And I'm hearing that you may have an opportunity coming in very soon, which is going to be something that you've been waiting for, be something that you can really um, like go after and to feel confident about. And it's time really to, because I'm getting this like surge of happiness here, this surge of it's almost like you're being injected with happiness. I don't know why they're showing it like that, but it's on an energetic level. Like you're kind of reclaiming something and then it is is sort of being put back into you, you know, on that level. So you may be very surprised, which I believe has also been coming up in the collective readings or some kind of surprise element to the things that are about to come in, the things that are about to show here for you if this message is for you. And if you have, because some of you may have been kind of a little bit still for a while, you may have even been sitting on the back burner, sort of, if that makes sense, or you've been um, sitting there not taking action towards certain things that you know that you've wanted to do, or your soul has been, uh, since I had heard calling before, some of you might actually be having a calling coming from your heart here that is really going to really going to be something that, um, you know, again, it almost like puts the whole puzzle together for you somehow, like you're going to have this calling, or you currently have a calling to do something. And I feel like it wasn't really something that you had access to before I kept getting or I keep getting. Um, and with the two of wands, it feels like They're also showing me too, uh, when I was preparing for the reading, I kept seeing giraffes and I heard something about a larger perspective. And then at the bottom, when I had shuffled earlier, I did see the, it's not here anymore, but I had seen the uh, Father's Sky, I think it says, Trust in the Unknown. So yeah, let's get a little bit more here and see what else you need to know. So anybody who is here, who this is for spirit, what else do they need to know? 
They're telling me that you may not even have this calling just yet. It might be something which is going to come in after you go through this transformation that you're currently undergoing. Um, so, you know, for example, with the Three of Swords, if there's certain fragments of yourself which are still being kind of sorted out or put back together, uh, and if you do resonate with this, again, you are a star seed, so you are very aware of your energy. You're very aware of how that works within your body, within, you know, you being tapped into um, wholeness again within yourself with the Queen of Cups. After that takes place, it's almost like it kind of, it leads you down a path here with the Black Panther that is very protected and very sacred. And it's very much your, it's almost like the cat is roaring within you is kind of what I'm seeing. Like there's something that is coming alive within you or is about to show itself. And since it is the Black Panther, it does give me the feeling that with the Death Guard here, it could even be like a bit of shadow work that you're going through. Or you may go through a time where it just, it feels kind of confusing or it feels like there's a fierceness coming up within you. Um, and I think that that's really what is necessary to return to this sort of wholeness of the self with the nine of pentacles here so don't be afraid of the dark some of you are actually i'm hearing you could even be shadow workers or you may be someone who is you've either already gone through this within yourself like you've hit the depths of your own soul you may have gone through a lot of darkness even or you're about to go through a time where it's not something to be feared but it is something that's going to lead to a lot of deep transformation which requires us to go into the depths and the darkness um and and I'm also hearing for those of you who are already psychics or you, you know, either you do this for like, you know, for a living or you are someone who is developing further a lot of psychic gifts. It's like your channel is becoming a lot clearer um, because of you going through this clearing connected to this three of swords. So painful experiences things which made you doubt yourself and feel like you couldn't do it or things which kind of projected onto you that you were not worthy all of that is actually being cleared out so that the true you is emerging as the queen of cups here and the ten of cups the true essence of you and your soul so you can kind of slip into that red dress and really um being someone who can be seen and yeah we have trust and thrive here And I'm hearing some of you may have been through this for lifetimes, I'm hearing. So since this is a starseed message here too, you may be someone who has, it's like you you carry such an ancient wisdom within yourself that you've been through this for, you, you, you've some kind of chapter or transformation that you're going through has been seeking to be closed out for many lifetimes or you've been working through a lot of um, cycles with something for lifetimes. It also might be that you just have some gift that you've also had in other lifetimes which are which is coming back online somehow or, or coming back with coming back up within you I, and i keep hearing calling you may even some of you could connect with deer because i'm being shown the antlers are significant so maybe you know it's like you're downloading some information from your crown chakra uh, and the antlers do represent you know like this deep connection to to spirit we have the moon again so there's very much of a moon uh, energy so definitely a lot of pisces i was getting cancer but it could just be this time period that you're moving through and i was referring to this woman holding a moon here too so there's a feeling of you actually might be going through again something which feels uncomfortable right now it may feel a bit uncomfortable you may not be able to see clearly everything that's happening or you may require or it may be required of you to dig deep into it so it could be different for a lot of you but for the most part it's something connected to like a, a, a part of you that somehow a part of you that you haven't seen within yourself which you have to uncloak or unveil which I feel is most likely connected to something emotional within yourself it could be a certain block that you have to, to things it could be a certain fear it could be heartbreak it could be just um something which i feel you are being encouraged to look deeper within at that and to 
it's okay to be alone I'm hearing for some reason so with the three of swords I'm not sure if that means a breakup for someone or if that means that you are just learning to really understand your own emotional realm you're learning to understand um, you're learning to understand your own emotional world which I feel is those blockages that have been there to you climbing the mountain are actually within you you know yes it could be external things too but it's about you finding the power within yourself and the strength within yourself to conquer those fears and those challenges within you know if that makes sense that's really what this is and so then we have here be open to healing information and be brave and honest the knight and the medicine guardian Yeah, this be open to healing information is a lot of what I just mentioned here. Um, there's something coming towards you, a download or some information, which I feel is coming towards you, which you have to be open and receptive to. And it feels like with the Ten of Cups, when you are open to this information, when you do un like go into yourself, understand your own emotions, understand what types of transformations you're going through and what's required to maybe transform, this is where it leads you back to the Ten of Cups, back to some kind of joy, happiness, fulfillment that is, I'm hearing, inevitable. So it's like it's inevitable in this lifetime. You may actually have something which is challenging your belief systems. I'm not sure what that is, but again, the moon is very like um, complex within your own self here. So it's going to vary depending on what that is. You know, it might be something that is a deeply rooted belief that you've had for a long time. It might be a belief that you have about love, about your, uh, it could be anything, you know, money. It could be something that you have to just sort of, you're being challenged to see something in a different way right now. You're being challenged to be open to a new perspective. And it feels like that is what requires you to go deeper, you know, so it's like th Again, this could be so many things, but if you use like an example of maybe it's a maybe it's heartbreak with the three of swords and it's something which is You having placed a barrier or limit, I should say, on the love that you're capable of attracting because of your own limitations within how you view yourself. Um, that's one example of that, of what you have to be brave and honest about. It could also be if this is about like life purpose, success, Maybe you feel that your beliefs about what you're here to do, you've only been taught a certain way that is not including that certain calling that you have, or money matters or something like that, that you can only attract money a certain way. There's just various things, but it, the, the main thing here is that you are being encouraged to be honest with yourself right now. And like I said, for whoever this is for with the Queen of Cups, you are in a very emotional, intuitive, and receptive space at the moment, um, or you're entering into that time. For a lot of you, you're probably already there, though. Um, it could be maybe even Pisces season coming up soon, too, will be like this, but it's just, it's a challenge, it's a challenging time, but it's not challenging, it's more so just like, it's a time for you to step into full power and, and sovereignty within yourself, which is going to lead you to amazing things in the future. So let's just get any final messages here. Is there anything else about this for whoever we're tapping into, Spirit, that you want them to know? Yes, we have the bull. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. I'm not sure why this is coming up, but I'm, I'm hearing the appointed hour. I don't know what that means. Um, I feel like this could be some kind of juncture some some place you're reaching which is not in this earthly realm it's something which i feel is you being honest like i just said you know you kind of being able to move walk through that gateway that's appearing before you with this here like with this death card and the light in the in the distance here 
this requires you to not back down with the panther like I said in the beginning there's maybe been obstacles thrown at you to your success to your spiritual gifts to you reclaiming yourself to your um, even success materially speaking in this lifetime too there's something which I feel is is like you don't back down here you are this is you the nine of pentacles you deserve this in every way um, so if this means that you have to again like I mentioned you know kind of see beyond something at the moment um, don't back down don't let other people's opinions sway you be open to what's being presented to you from the higher realms right now to assist you in moving beyond this limitation or this block um, if someone tries to trigger you or if there's something which comes up here it's like the panther is here to say that remember who you are remember that this is yeah remember who you are anything else here for this message We have someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So this could be a few things. Um, for some of you, this is someone that you've been connecting to in love, maybe. It could be a family member as well. It could be a friend. Someone that maybe is who you need to see beyond something with. That won't be for everyone, but for some of you, that's what it is. Because the Death card is about change. It is about transformation. So it has something to do with like your... I'm hearing it's, it's something to do with your success versus versus something around you which isn't in alignment with your success you know so it's almost like looking around you and looking around your environment to see what people what situations are going to go with you in the ten of cups and which ones are being left behind um, for some of you you know it could be you as well being stubborn to change for a few of you it might be could be a belief system too that's triggered by somebody so it could be a parent it could be someone who's taught you a certain way of thinking we have keep your life in balance what else spirit for this message and this is a reminder to keep your emotional world in balance doing things that help you to feel emotionally centered as well as physically. Okay, we have love. What else, Spirit, for this message? We have a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end the elephant and then we have chain chain of events that will affect your life and then this one flew out as well we have valley deep personal strength and peace that assure success yeah so it's really connecting to what i already said i think that this is a long journey for a lot of you some of you definitely are very old souls here with the elephant um, it's like there's there's a feeling of you're getting to the top of that mountain you're almost there at the point where you know you've climbed to a certain level here of success and I feel like it's just about keeping everything in balance right now whether this means that you have to again you know break certain chains you have to make certain movements you have to do certain things it just feels like that's really what this message is about overall and Because I'm hearing what's about to be on your plate is going to be, again, maybe very rewarding, yes, but also could be a, a level up somehow to give you more sense of power and authority or, or some more success. See, money will be coming to you. It has a lot to do with money um, and not even just money, but like just just wealth in terms of just good things, I guess you can say, or positive experiences. And so this is what's going to require you to keep things in balance right now. Slowly but surely getting ahead. And let's get one more. So the elephant and the tortoise to me are both kind of a feeling of slow movement to some level. So I feel like...
that's why I'm getting to keep your eyes looking forward, I'm hearing, keeping your uh, intentions ahead. We have period of prosperity and abundance, yes. And at the bottom, we have good advice from a wise person. Anything else here, Spirit, before we go? Anything else? Yeah, you're you're about to make a name for yourself, I'm hearing. Something with that red dress. You're about to make some kind of name for yourself, whatever that's going to mean for you. Um, it could be being well-known. It could be just making a name for yourself in terms of just your soul and kind of... Um, finding something that kind of works for you it just feels like you are heading in that direction and so there will be deep personal strength and peace but you may i mean maybe you do have advice coming from somebody okay so i'm going to get one last card of advice and then we'll leave it there what's one final advice card for whoever this reading is for today what is one final advice card? What is one final advice? So we have crystals. A specific crystal is calling, working with the earth element, healing and soothing the soul. Gemstones bring luck, wear bracelets and necklaces, making grids and intention setting. So some of you might be being called to work with crystals. I think these this deck also has crystals somewhere. I think I saw crystals. Well, we have crystals here, but that's the name of it. But yeah, there's something definitely for this reading. Again, a lot of you are very connected here to just energy and energy work. And it feels like you are being advised here to use crystals for protection I'm getting using crystals for manifestation okay and at the bottom we do have again you are highly admired so see there's something about a reward coming in something about being in, in first place top notch So this is why they want you to keep your life in balance and crystals could even, could even help with that. Something about using crystals to keep your life in balance may help with that. So I will leave it here. I hope that this reading could connect with whoever it was for. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And I will talk to you all next time. Take care and lots of love.